Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And welcome back to another thrifty video. Today I've got my host daughter here, GU. Hi. So we are gonna go to the bins today. It has been months since I've been to the bins and it's been longer for you even, right? Yeah. So we haven't been in a long time, but I always find so many amazing pieces when I go to the bins. I come home excited. I love showing GU and my husband what I found. But today, GU doesn't have school anymore, so she's going with me to the bins. Two hands are better than one. Four hands are better than two. And so we're gonna have two carts. Hopefully we can find some great brands to resell online. Are you ready, GU? Yay! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Work? <laughs> okay, show me the back. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a no. I think this is so cute, but I can't wash it. Should I get it? I don't know. Probably not. Maybe I should. I don't know. I think I'm going to take it back. Do you says no? I'm going to not get it. Okay. You're doing so good. <laughs> Do you found these? And they're all pickle erasers, which are kind of fun. Oh, bullet bill. Mario. Do you know him? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, friends, we're back home, and GU and I had a great time at the bins. It was a little intense, a little insane, but I was able to find 75 items to resell, so I thought that was pretty good. And I found a great variety of brands that resell well online. So I spent $78 in total, and I got 75 items. So right about a dollar per piece. It's a dollar and four cents, but we're just gonna round to a dollar for ease today and I'm very happy. I'm gonna show you guys the thing I'm most excited about probably first. I have a couple really exciting things, but this really got me excited. I saw these in the bins, and if you guys saw, I got some footage of me going through the shoe bins. None of our shoes are together. All of the bins are just kind of scattered. Sometimes you can't even find the match to a shoe because it doesn't come out in the same round. And the bins, you know, it's notoriously difficult to find matches, but today I was able to find both of this amazing pair of vintage Doc Martens and they're such a cute style. I am in love with these. And these, first I found one, I just grabbed one and I, I gave it to GU and I said, GU, 
go and look through all of these bins and try to find the second one for me. And she found the second one, which is so incredible because if you guys don't know, vintage Doc Martens can be worth so much money, especially if they say made in England on them. And these ones do. These are made in England, vintage, probably 90s Doc Martens. They're absolutely amazing. Let me show you the inside here. So there's the writing on the inside. It says made in England. And these are incredible. I looked them up. They were in great shape. And a similar pair, just like these, but a smaller size sold for $125. So I think this is at least $100 right here. And I paid $78 in total. So with one item, we should be paying for the whole haul. And these aren't in a size eight. I believe that's a men's size eight because I tried these on and they were just a smidge big for my foot and I'm a nine. So a men's size eight, a women's size 10 then. So aren't those so amazing? Really great shape, no holes. I'm really excited about those. So we're looking at probably around 100, 120 bucks for those, which is amazing. And that's actually not the only pair of Doc Martens I found. This is the second pair. And to be fair, I did not find these. I do make friends at the bins. And usually when I'm talking with them, if they find that they don't want something, sometimes they'll give it to me and see if I want it. And I do the same thing with other people as well. I would rather give it to somebody that I know and are friendly with me. And so they decided not to get these Doc Martens. They were a little too beat up for them, but I thought they were still in pretty good shape. They have some scuffing at the toes, but I thought they were still pretty nice. So a pair of kind of oxblood Doc Martens here. These ones are not vintage. These look like they're a newer pair. They're a women's size nine. And I think it says that they are the DISC style. So I will look that up. But I thought those were really nice for a dollar a piece. I counted my shoes as each shoe being a dollar. So $2 for each pair of shoes is not too bad. And I sell a lot of Doc Martens similar to those for around 50 bucks quite frequently, sometimes like 75. So somewhere around there, which will do awesome. And just in case you guys can hear any of the cicadas or anything outside, I have all the windows open. Our air conditioning has been broken for like three weeks. So I am trying to get some air on me. I'm sorry if the sound quality is not as high as it normally is, but we've got to do what we got to do. Another pair of amazing shoes. I love looking in the shoes at my Goodwill outlet. I don't find very many really extremely nice clothing that comes through. I do sometimes, but I would say on the whole, I find a lot of amazing shoe brands coming through and not as many clothing brands. And I think that also is a lot of people will invest more money in their shoes than they will in clothing because clothing they change out more frequently. So I find some good shoes and these are another one. This is a pair of Danskos. And I have not seen a pair of Danskos with that heel before, I don't think. At least I've not sold them, but I sell Danskos very quickly and they usually move really fast in my store. And especially the more unique they are, the better. This one is a unique pair. And these are a European 38. They are real leather. So a European 38, I think is close to a size eight. So really cute little peep toe booties. I think those should give me around 50 bucks for that. And then let's move to clothes for a little bit. Those are just some of the shoes I found. This I found in a throwback pile and I saw the fabric and I just kind of had a feeling it was Lululemon and it was. So I don't usually find a lot of Lululemon in my bins. People know this brand here. They pick it up, they find it. This looks to be maybe an older style from them, but I thought it was still a cute piece. I like this a lot and I love Lululemon for myself. So I thought this would be good to resell, especially for a dollar. I thought that was amazing. I can't find a size tag on it. From looking at it, I would be, I would guess that this is a size 12, but no size and no tag in it, but it is from Lululemon. So for a dollar, I think I can probably hopefully sell that for at least 20 bucks, which is not that much considering, but I did want to grab it. It was a dollar for Lululemon. You know, that was probably originally at least 50 bucks. So I thought that was okay. And then GU actually found this piece for me and she was doing so well helping me and she was just making me a lot less stressed with having to watch the cards and also trying to find matches for shoes. And then also she had chances to look through the clothing while I was looking through the shoes. So that was quite helpful. And this is one of the things that she found for me, which is really cute. It's this black and white little cropped jacket. I thought it was really sweet. And it is from Adidas. I love the shape of this. The design of it is really adorable. And then it has the logo on the front and the back. And this is from Adidas in a women's size medium. I would say it's definitely going to be cropped and it's definitely going to be boxy and oversized. Like I feel like I could probably wear this, 
but it's a really nice little jacket and I know that this style is really in right now so I would assume that I can probably resell that I would say for around $35 maybe 50 it just depends on if it's sought after I didn't do a lot of research unless I was really unsure of something and if I was unsure of things today I was really ruthless and I threw so much back I don't want to be inundated with tons of inventory I already have enough inventory but I wanted to go to the bins to have a good video for you guys and so I didn't want to go crazy but I still found some really good pieces um, like this pair of shoes I think these are so cute these are a little velvet velour loafer. They are so cute. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're a really dark, kind of like goldenrod color, golden with a little bit of green undertones. They're beautiful. And these are a pair of Madewell shoes. Absolutely stunning. And they're a size seven and a half. Absolutely adorable. I love selling Madewell shoes. This again came from a friend of mine. He didn't want them. I really need to make sure I thank him properly because he gives me anything he's on the fence about. He just gives to me. He doesn't want to deal with anything that might be wrong with things. Um, but these are so cute. And I've sold a lot of Madewell shoes. <laughs> and I've sold a lot of Madewell shoes recently for around 50 bucks. So those are sweet. And then we have a little Under Armour sweatshirt. It's a nice little hoodie in a blue color. I picked this up because it's extremely soft. The logo's in the middle, which I feel like is more modern. I feel like the older ones would have had it on the side. I like that middle logo. I think that's nice. And then this is in a size medium. It's also the loose fit and it's really soft on the inside. So I was thinking maybe around $20 for that. And then we have a Lacoste piece. And I think that GU also found this. So giving her credit where credit is due. Also, if you don't know GU, she's our host daughter. She's lived with us for two years now. And she is going to college in the fall here in America. And so we're excited to have her close by. Anyways, but she found this for me. It is a nice little polo. I just sold one of these the other day, I think for $50. This is from Lacoste. And it is in a great size. It is in a 4XL, I think, is what it says. Yep, 4XL. So I think that should get me around $50. If I had like a size medium or large and that got me $50, I think that should definitely as well. So I thought that was nice. And then I'm always looking for Patagonia in the bins. And this isn't exactly like the best piece of Patagonia I've ever found, but it is Patagonia. And that is a pair of bike shorts. And these are actual cycling shorts. These have the actual like padding on the bottom here for when you're sitting on a bike. So I thought these were nice. And then it says Patagonia down there on the end of the leg. So this, I don't know if I can tell what size they are. Oh, they're a women's size medium. Awesome. So women's size medium pair of cycling shorts from Patagonia. Probably not a ton of money there, but again, I found Patagonia in the bins. So I got excited about that. Maybe like 15, 20 bucks. I want to try to be a little realistic, but also I could get good money. Then another thing that somebody else gave me, I just cannot believe how generous people are. It's always so exciting when I might meet nice people in the bins. This is a pair of Chacos. These have the toe strap. It's a single strap and then they look to be in great shape and they're a women's size eight. And so the bottoms too, I think have camouflage on them, which is fun. I sold two pairs of Chacos this weekend, both for $40. So I'm assuming I'll list these at 50, like I did the other two pairs, and then I will sell them hopefully for 40 bucks as well. In a women's size eight, this is the time to be listing and selling a pair of sandals like that, so that's awesome. And then I was so jazzed to find both of these. This is a pair of Ugg Tasman slippers. The last time I found a pair of these, they got stolen from my cart at the bins, which is not ideal, so I was excited to redeem the Ugg Tasman and to find both in the bin. Super excited about these. And these I believe are men's size 12, which I didn't know they made these in men's sizes as well. Jeremy tried these on, he's like, wow, these are kind of comfy. So we might end up keeping these, but if we sell them, especially if I can get them cleaned up, I do have a suede brush. If I can get these cleaned up, I probably can resell them for like $75. I know that these shoes are so popular right now and they're you can't find them for cheap anywhere. So. Um, that's a great find, especially in a bigger size. I feel like that's kind of more unique. So I grabbed those and aren't those so cute? Let me know what you think. Is it weird for a guy to wear them or is it cool? I think we're on the fence over here if it's weird or cool. So any help would be appreciated. I also got this Monopoly Lord of the Rings board game. I am super into board games. I own tons. 
we don't own a Monopoly. I don't think I've ever played Monopoly in my life, which is crazy. But this is the Lord of the Rings Trilogy Edition. And we recently, with GU, went to the movie theater and watched all three of the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so we're, we're kind of into it right now. And we love the Lord of the Rings in general. So I recently, at a garage sale, also found a Lord of the Rings Risk game. So we have a lot of Lord of the Rings going on, <laughs> which is fun. Then this amazing coat. This is a gorgeous, like dark green, hunter green winter coat. A lot of people will not pick up coats in the summer, but y'all, coats sell all year round. And also, if this is a good brand in the bins, you better believe I'm gonna pick it up in the middle of summer. This is from Mark New York, so Andrew Mark, which is a very expensive brand. It doesn't always keep its resale, but I have found that its coats will still sell really well. So this is a full on like parka coat, which is great. And it's a size extra large, which is amazing. So I decided to grab this and it is the down. And this is super important when you're checking for puffers and things in general, you wanna see what the down is made of. If it's just a polyester fill, it's gonna be less expensive than if it's with real down or with waterfowl feathers. And this one is made with those two things, down and waterfowl feathers. Those are great additions to any jacket it's going to be worth so much more with those so I would assume that I can probably list that around 75 to 100 dollars and then hopefully make 50 to 75 I think that was a good pickup especially even though that was probably heavier than some of these other items I am also just doing a straight across the board cost of goods so for a dollar that's amazing <laughs> then we have this pair of Alegrias which I could be saying that's wrong Allegria I think it's Alegrias but they are kind of a fun metallic pair of more like nice shoes to wear if you're a nurse, things like that. People love Allegria's and Dansko's for nurse work and just hospital work in general. So these are really nice. They seem to have really good tread on the bottom. And then they also, they have a Velcro strap across the top. And these are in a European size 41 with a leather upper and leather lining. So real leather size 41, I believe is a nine to nine and a half. So really nice pair of shoes and that should serve someone well and I'll probably list I saw them selling for between 35 to 40 ish dollars around in there so list around 40 to 50 and hopefully make you know what I just said I'd hoped for and then I was really excited because this pair of shoes was tied together which does not happen like it's not it's not a thing at my bins but I was excited because I recognized this little logo on the side if you guys have not watched my shoes brands list video to know you should, this is on there. This is a great shoe brand. It's called Ultra, A-L-T-R-A. -A. And I feel like they are gaining traction right now because they are a shoe that's better for your feet. They make it with a wider toe box and that helps people to be able to use your foot more while you're walking, running, doing anything. These look to be in really good shape and I love that they're black. They look clean, I love that. These are the Escalante style in a women's size eight and a half. So that's a really nice pair of shoes. The bottoms still look like they have a lot of good tread. I just sold one of these the other day for 40 or $50. And so not too mad about that at all. Those are a great find. Then this I went back and forth on because it was heavier. It's bigger, it's a coat. I wanted to make sure it was worth picking up. And it, just, it definitely turns out that it was. This is a really nice kind of like chore coat, barn coat. Those are the kind of the keywords I would use. It has kind of corduroy down here at the hems as well as the collar really cute style and this is an ll bean coat so ll bean and it's in a women's size large but this is a really good piece actually i know that ll bean can do really well i know a lot of people on the east coast love it maybe the west coast does too i'm much less familiar with west coast but i think that it is really cute when i looked up ll bean barn coats or chore coats i saw a lot of them listed for around 75 dollars to 100 dollars and selling around 65 to 75 so I thought that was amazing to pick it up for a dollar. Yes, it's bigger, it's larger, but I definitely think that will be worth it, especially when I had $78 into everything I have. So pretty pleased with that. Another pair of shoes that this guy gave me. Again, so thankful, so nice of him. I was not there for super long and I got so much because he was so generous and gave me things he didn't want. These are a pair of Sorrel's. These are black leather going all the way up here. I like a soft suede leather, but they are waterproof still. Bottoms are in great shape. And these are in a women's size six. And I also will be able to figure out the style pretty easily. Sorrel's for me are usually pretty easy to figure out, especially if I do a reverse image search. 
So this is what they look like on the back. That real leather I think is so nice. And it's a nice pair of boots. Hopefully I'll be able to sell those around $50. Then I picked up this because I thought it was fun. It is this cute little crop lip print kind of boxy tee. This is from the brand Silence and Noise, which is sold at Urban Outfitters. Sometimes it's also sold at Anthropology, but this definitely screams Urban Outfitters to me. And I looked up and it is, I think, 55% linen. So mostly linen, really cute blouse. And I was thinking this would just be good for a listing for summertime. I think it's a really fun throw on piece, really unique. And this is in a size medium, definitely runs oversized, but I thought that was cute. And again, for a dollar, I think I can sell it for like 20 bucks. We'll see how that one goes. That might've not been the best pickup, but I just thought it was a cute print. And so we got her. Then this pair of shoes, I went back and forth on. I didn't know if these were part of the old, like older vintage Nikes that do well, or the older vintage Nikes that literally will not sell and are worth nothing. So I did a reverse image search on this. And while I was looking these up, I had these in like the little child section of my cart looking these up, taking a picture of them, quite literally actively doing things with them. When a lady came up, me and G were both here. She comes up and just grabs them out of my cart. Like, and is like, can I have them? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm literally looking them up. Like I'm going to buy them. Like, what are you doing? Like I just, the nerve of some people, I feel like I'm getting more and more upset by these people doing crazy shenanigans at the bins. Um, I just, the nerve of people is sometimes too much for me, but when I did look these up, I believe these are called like the Nike court lows. I'll put up a picture on the screen, but these were selling quite frequently for like $40 to like $60. So they were part of the older style that actually does well. That's what the bottoms look like. So glad I looked them up and didn't just let that lady have them. They're a women's eight and a half. I'm assuming a women's eight and a half. Yep. Size 40. European so I thought those were pretty cool pretty good shape and I can also clean them up pretty easily and then so I know there's so much here I'm trying to move fast for you this might not be as exciting for you but it's exciting for me these are basically brand new little pillowcases and they are linen from Casa Luna which is a brand from Target but I really like this brand for bedding I actually have this brand of bedding for our bedroom and also our guest bedroom upstairs. I could definitely tell just from looking at them that they are from this brand or at least something like it. And so these are 30% linen and from feeling them, they definitely look like they've never been used. So they're a really lightish kind of grayish blue color. They're really light and neutral, which I love. So I'm gonna wash those and then we're gonna use those bad boys and that will save me good money because their linen pillowcases are like 20 bucks a piece. So. Not too shabby. And then we have two pieces of North Face here. I think this is called their Osito Fleece. I've sold this many times. This one's a blue one. And they usually, I probably will list around 35 or 40, hopefully make around 30 bucks on this. This is a girl's size large. Didn't realize it was a children's size. That will maybe change the price a little bit, maybe a little lower than around 20 to $25. This one I think is maybe also a girl's size. This one is a white fleece. It has that gray contrast here on the front. And this one is a women's size medium. So women's medium, 12, 20 bucks maybe for each piece, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. And I will take that all day for only a dollar into them. These are a pair of Sam Edelman booties. I thought the stack of this heel was so interesting. That shape is really cool. A black suede little booty. They're from Sam Edelman. You can see the Sam Edelman logo on the bottom there. And something I like about Sam Edelman shoes is that they give you the style name. These are called the Wilson boot and they're in a size eight and a half, a real leather upper. And I saw comps for these going for around 40 or 50 bucks sold. So thought those were really cute. I like the shape of the toe. It's in really good shape. And that's a fun little heel just for everyday use, I felt like. Okay, then as we were walking out, I had had one of these in my carts. I threw it back and then I found the second one was really pleased to find both. This is a pair of black little loafers. I love them, they're in nice leather. They have that fun gold chain accent. And then these are from Allen Edmonds, which I love selling their shoes. They do really well for me. These ones have a little bit of wear to them on the bottoms, but I still think I can probably get around $50 for these. If they're in really good shape, I've sold Allen Edmonds for $75, $100 before, but these are really nice and they are in a size 9D. I think the D is regular width. So 
nine regular width or maybe a wide but really nice pair of little loafers in real black leather super nice then another brand that i don't pick up a lot but i've been seeing other people picking it up and talking about how well it sells for them so i thought i'd give it a try this is a packable puffer jacket from eddie bauer it's in black it's nice with all of this quilting going on but the reason i picked it up only is not only because it is a puffer which i normally do pick up in the bins but it also is packable, which is a great keyword to put into items. And it's also made with goose down. So there's this little pocket here on the inside with a little pole that says packable on it. So the whole jacket will fit inside of this pocket on the inside of the jacket. So you can like push it all in. So it's really nice if you're traveling, especially going abroad. It's so easy to pack this down, but then it also will be a nice coat for you as well. It's also made with premium quality goose down. So like what I was saying before, goose down is gonna make me wanna pick it up. And then it is in a size small. So Eddie Bauer, size small. I would say it's probably a women's size small just from how it's cut. Really nice jacket. And comps were around $50 to $75 for that. So that's great. Then I have no idea how much this is worth. But again, somebody gave this to me and I had to pick it up. It's a cute little scarf. It looks like it is a silk scarf. It is a coach scarf, super cute. A nice large one too. This would be so cute tied in someone's hair or tied on someone's purse. I think it's so nice. I'm so happy they gave that to me. Um, I'll have to do some research on it because I don't know if I've ever sold a scarf before. Have I sold a, definitely not a coach one for sure. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun though for how light it was for a dollar. I thought, okay, let's give it a go. Let's try it out. Okay, we have four more pieces and then a few things I want to show you just for myself that I got. Gio found these. She said that she was sitting next to somebody at the bins and those were right in front of her. She was about to reach out to grab them and then an arm like crept up from between them and was trying to grab them out from under her and she was like, mm, I didn't even know what they were but I was not letting them have it so I just grabbed them and I was like, you go girl, you go Gio. And so she found these. They're kind of a shorter little booty with all this nice leather. I've sold this pair of shoes, I think this exact one before. They're from the brand Twisted X, which you can see the logo right there. And it's if you don't know this logo, this is again one of those brands that was on my shoe brand list. If you don't know what the logo looks like, it's hard to figure out what this brand is. But these are in a size eight and a half. And I would say from looking at them, they were probably a women's eight and a half, but I, I'll figure out what the name of these is. I think it might be the driving moccasin, something like that. This piece had some marks on it. I'm gonna do some stain treatment, see if I can get them out. Cause other, I think this should do really well. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It is a little bustier top, sleeveless, strapless. And then it has these two pieces on the back that hang down. For the life of me, I don't know how it's supposed to be worn. Like, is it supposed to be tied in the back? Let me see if I can tie it. Okay, I'm not gonna tie it, I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be tied in the back. Maybe it's supposed to hang down like it is, but it's this little bustier top. It has a zipper in the back. And Gio actually found this for me. It was a good good find on her part. And this is from the brand CMEO Collective, which is very expensive. So I only knew this brand because I got this in my Revolve palette unboxing. And so I knew that it was expensive. This one's in a size medium. I believe that the other piece that I had found retailed for hundreds of dollars. So I'm assuming this can probably sell for at least $60. Um, so I'm gonna do some washing, some stain treatment on that. Hopefully we'll be able to get it all out. But that's a really cool piece, right? Then, oh, this is a <laughs> this is maybe a little bit of a downer. This is a cute little pair of denim overall shorts. So short alls, I think is what they call them. And it's new with tags, which is why I picked it up. But I do pick up overalls just in general from most any brand. They usually do really well. These are just from Old Navy. And they are a size large, which is a great size. And they are new with tags. So I've been putting up some of those Old Navy pieces and new with tags pieces up on my eBay. And they've been selling within like one day for 20 bucks. So I thought maybe 20 bucks. And then the last pair of shoes I have here are this little pair of wedge little cork sandals. These are super cute. They have a little toe hole. They're a silver metallic, and they are from Donald J. Pliner, or Donald Pliner as this one says, which is really great, especially because I believe that this is the newer logo from Donald Pliner. And they're in a size eight, and they are made with real leather, so really cute pair of shoes. And these actually look to be in pretty great shape. There's the bottoms to them, super cute. 
and I would assume that I can sell these for at least $35. And then, I mean, I got all of these little kids clothes. I found so many cute little kids items. I'll just show you two or three here. I don't want to bore you with all of them, but like this little vintage little flower kind of, I don't even know what you call this, but she's like a baby, basically like a little ball that the baby sits in. I thought that was adorable. Just a couple like sleepers and stuff for eventually whenever we have kids. I just thought it was so cute. And then I really like this little jacket I found. Isn't this so precious? This is from Seven for All Mankind. And it is so cute in blue and green. Love it. So I got all of that stuff too. Just, you know, for in case someday in the future we have kids. And all of that for $78 from the Doc Martens to the Ultras to the Allen Edmonds to all those amazing clothes. So I found all of that for $78, which is amazing. And even just selling the one pair of Doc Martens should pay for the entire haul. So let me know what piece was your favorite down below. And if you guys are not already subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps to support my channel so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.